There are more than two million unintended pregnancies amongst teenage girls in sub-Saharan Africa each year, five times the number in Europe. And pregnancy is the leading cause of death. Young women aged 15 to 19 are twice as likely to die as a result of pregnancy than those over 20. And girls under 15 are five times more likely to die. Behind these statistics are the stories of countless young women and children who hold the key to Africa's future. Sharifa is 15 years old and lives in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> When I was still 14, I had three guys. Those guys, everyone used to tell me what I love you, things like that. But I used to trust them all. One day, one, I used to sleep with those guys, all of them. Uh, everyone used to tell me, I will marry you, things like that. I will give you good things. Yeah, as you know, men, they can lie. Yeah, everyone knew them. Hey, I will marry you, what? I will show you. I think I was young because everyone knew they told me, I don't want to use a condom. Hey, let us play if you love me. As you know, men can like, you can tell if you love me. So I don't want to play sex with a what? A condom. I don't want to use a condom. If you love me, we will not use a condom. No, I got pregnant. When I got pregnant, I didn't know the owner of the pregnant. So I went to everyone, I told them I'm pregnant. Everyone used to tell me, hey, it's not mine, it's not mine, things like that. So I decided to abort. I used local things, the things of Baganda. When I took the, when I drank that ash, I felt a lot of pain, breathing, what? Eh, I lose a lot of blood. So the friend told that friend decided to call my sister. So my sister decided to take me to the hospital. Taking me to the hospital, the doctor told them, hey, even she was about to die, what did she, things like that. Then I told the sister, don't tell my, don't tell her mom about this. She decided to keep quiet until now the mother doesn't know about it, but what if she knows? Sharifa is one of 15 siblings. Her father is dead. Her mother raises chickens upstairs in their house. Her mother's lack of access to any family planning severely affected her own well-being. Now, for the same reasons, that is being perpetuated in her children's lives. I don't go to school because my parents don't have money. But I don't want to go back to these secondary schools. I want to have a course. So after her experience of an unwanted pregnancy, what is Sharifa doing to prevent it happening again? I said it to abstain. I'm abstaining. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good. What I advise the young girls and boys, the young girls, you just, I, I want to advise them to abstain to leave these men because all of them, they are not trust. You don't trust them, yeah. Abstinence is a policy promoted by some African countries to the exclusion of all other advice. Because of this, many young women have no knowledge of how to protect themselves from becoming pregnant. And young men are often not aware of how to take responsibility for their actions. This puts the girls, as well as the men, at risk. In sub-Saharan Africa, young women are more than twice as likely to be infected with HIV as young men. Here in Tanzania, Joseph and William have taken on this responsibility and have both volunteered for HIV tests. William is about to be told his result. <laughs> Sister, she shot the killer. Akiwa negative. 
basi nitaendelea kumshukuru Mungu zaidi na nitaendelea kuweka effort katika mizunguko yangu ya maisha positive utafanyaje basi kio positive nitaendelea basi kupata ushauri kwamba ni jinsi gani kuishi uko tayari mtu majibu yako nisome kadi yako namba mada Madam, are you sure of what you see? Madam, no. No, madam. No, madam. It is true you are not affected. This is negative. Do you see this one? Afterwards, it's Joseph's turn. William and Joseph, who've taken advantage of counseling services available in Tanzania, now know that they're both free of infection. Things didn't work out so well for 19-year-old Milap in Kenya. Poverty drove her into the trap of prostitution. At the age of 16, I became a sex worker because of problems, financial problems. Yes, I dropped out of school and there's no other option but to do the sex work. My father was paying my school fees, but he passed away, so there was no one to pay for me. I've tried looking for jobs like washing clothes, but it's very difficult, so I find it easy to be a sex worker. My health is poor because I'm ill. Um, I was ill, then I went to hospital, I got checked up and I found I was positive. Milab used to have sex without a condom but she now knows she must insist that her clients use one in order to protect themselves. I've met men who don't want to use condom, but I, I convinced them because I feel responsible to their health. When I go home at night, I just feel like I don't want to to go in that job again. But it, I find it difficult because there's no job. So you just go do it. Yes, I can stop being a sex worker if I just get support. Yeah, if I go to a college, I would love to be a beautician get my own job, I can stop. Family planning lessons help to reduce ignorance. Here in Tanzania, young men and women are taught about contraception, both to avoid pregnancy and infection. This all helps towards ensuring a healthier population, which is educated and working thereby creating a foundation for sustainable development. For instance, research shows that if $100 million were invested in family planning, the resulting reduction in unwanted births would make cost savings not only in health care and water and sanitation, but also in areas such as malaria treatment, immunization and education. These savings could be four times the original amount and then could be invested elsewhere. Mm. 
unaiviringisha unaiviringisha hadi ukikisha imefika wapi mwisho ikishafika mwisho ikifuta kabisa kwenye uume ume sunakaa hapo hapo eh? inakuwa tayari kwa ajili ya kufanya nini Tumaini, attending this lesson here in Tanzania, has also been given a microfinance loan, a small loan which enables her to start buying and selling vegetables in the market. She's an example of how girls, when given the chance, can take control of their lives, earn their own living, and contribute to their local community. <laughs> na kufanya ngono zisizo tarajiwa lakini sisi tulivyoingia DSW tukapata hii kazi kidogo tunaifanya inatusaidia sana kuepuka na wale vishawishi vya wanaume nilipata changamoto hii nilipokuwa huko kijijini yani wazazi wangu wana uwezo wa chini sana kwanza na mzazi wa kike tu kwa hiyo nilipokutana na hichi kikundi nikajiunga ikanisaidia sana kutokana na vishawishi vya wanaume a hundred and eighty nine countries of the United Nations agreed in two thousand to eight millennium development goals for the world's poorest countries, which were to be achieved by twenty fifteen. The aim of goal five is to reduce maternal mortality by three quarters and to achieve universal access to reproductive health care. The teenage birth rate decreased globally between nineteen ninety and two thousand, but since then, progress has slowed and in some regions has reversed. The highest teenage birth rate is found in sub-Saharan Africa, which has seen little progress since 1990. Shiro is 18 years old and lives in Kenya with her small son. boyfriend. <laughs> tulikuwa tulikana almost for 6 months to push so one day akaniambia niende kwake kuna kitu anataka kuniambia sasa nikamwambia sitaweza kwenda nikakaa tu penye nilikaa akuta akaniambia ile direct ati anataka kulala na mimi mimi nikakataa Venye nilikata akaniambia simjui vizuri sasa venye aliniambia hivyo mimi sikushughulika na yeye nikaachana na yeye nikaanza ilikuwa ni 6 6 ya jioni nikaanza tu kukuza while Shira was walking home her boyfriend gathered some friends of his sasa walinifunga mdomo venye walinifunga mdomo waliniingiza na huku ndani hakukuwa na mtu around nilikuwa na maumivu sana kwa sababu sikuwa nime nimelala na mwanaume yoyote i was just a virgin nilikuwa tu hivyo sikuwa nime lala na mwanaume yoyote na yeye hata alifanya hivyo alienda kuona sasa mimi sikuwa na venye neza nisaidia vingine ilikuwa tu nikae kwa sababu yeye alienda mimi nilibaki tu na peni peke yake Na venye ni, after one month nikapata niko pregnant nikasema I will just keep the pregnancy sita itoa kwa sababu naogopa kukufa na nikaamua tu ku keep sa polisi waliniambia hawawezi nisaidia mtu ame nini ashatoroka Abortion is illegal in almost all developing countries leaving girls to seek help from traditional practitioners working in unsanitary conditions Almost all the 70,000 abortion-related deaths every year occur in developing countries to girls like Shiro. Hakuna mtu nisaidia. Sisi tu ndo nisaidia, sisi ndo struggle. Benye tuneza pata food, benye tuneza pata anything ya kusurvive. Ndoto zangu ni kupata nyumba mzuri, mali save, yani mali clean, mali pasafi, mali neza ishi na familia yangu, tukiwa sisi wote kijimu, tuishi, tukwe happy, tusahau ya liopita, yani tuwanza sama apia. Sexual violence, sexually transmitted infections, unwanted pregnancies, laws against abortion, are all issues which impinge on the rights of women and young girls. 
It is also these things which make it impossible for young women to live out their dreams and fulfill their potential. If they're given the same opportunities as young women in places like Europe, it will not only ensure safer and better futures for the young women of sub-Saharan Africa, but also ensure the future of their communities.